this is a general comparison of the lab radar and magneto speed. Um, it'll be so you can see what the differences are between them. So in this first uh, picture, there are the two of them together in their cases ready to go to the range, and you can kind of compare the sizes. They're pretty similar. This is a lab radar by itself, so you can see um, what uh, it looks like in the size. And uh, then here's what comes in the package. I didn't order a base plate with this. And this is the magneto speed. Um, and all in a simple little box and this is what's in the box um, when you get it except for the batteries which I ordered and this is a little doodai built to support the lab radar made out of stuff I had around the house plus a couple parts I made and here's a close-up of it so you can see what it looks like and this is it in action with the lab radar attached to it so this is uh, what it looked like. Oh, we finally made it to the range, and here you can see the lab radar set up. It's the uh, orange thing there in the right upper center of the screen. The magneto speed is attached to the gun on of the front barrel. So there's one shot, and we're going to do five shots here. I'm not going to subject you all to that many of them, but uh, what this is is a Rem 700 action that's accurized for the Krieger barrel on Timney trigger in a HS precision stock. So we're going to do five shots so we can compare the results between the lab radar and the magneto speed. And uh, we'll work through these and then show several screens so you will be able to see the differences between the two, if any, um, when they show us the uh, speeds of each shot. Um, this process um, didn't take too long. It was a little chilly out there today, but um, this is the first play first time I've tried playing with the lab radar, and uh, it was kind of fun. So here's uh, the last of the shots going here, and um, now we'll go ahead and switch the screen over to the little doodah that's the screen for these magneto speed. It shows the last three of five shots, and you can see the averages in the SD and the... Uh, that kind of stuff. This is one of the first screens you see with the lab radar. It has this screen and then another screen which is this one here before you start shooting. As you can see there have been no shots fired so far. And uh, so we'll go through some of these shots. There's shot three with the speeds and uh, the speeds at different distances and at the muzzle. And this is shot four. Same stuff. The V, you know, the, the velocity, the V0 is the speed at the muzzle. And then, of course, here's the shot five. I didn't bother uh, showing all five shots because they're pretty much all the same thing over and over. So here's the series, the total of the series, and the information for the series as it exists.